Hi, in today's video I want to present a series of lessons that will slowly allow you to learn the non-harmonic tones, non-harmonic tones. What are these non-harmonic tones? You will understand this watching today's lesson. These are notes that will help you a lot in the context of composition and arrangements. Now let's try to understand exactly why these non-harmonic tones are so important in the study of composition and arrangements. Up to now, or better, in the part about the subject of harmony, we have looked extensively into chords. We have looked into chords and said that they are important, quite important, because they are the base and skeleton of a song, for, for example, especially in popular music. The term harmonic bass is sometimes used in this context because it is a bass made of a sequence of chords, bass as in B-A-S-E, made of a sequence of chords on which a song can be built. The term skeleton, of course, explains this quite, quite better because the skeleton of a song can be the, the chords, the, the sequence of chords that you're playing, and you can add to the skeleton with a melody and an arrangement. So chords are the skeleton on which you can build, we could say, the scaffolding for a whole song, in fact, any kind of song. Certainly, there aren't only chords, which means that harmony isn't the only important aspect. Music is made also of melody, which is a sequence of notes, how a, a vocal melodic line of a song can be. It, it's, for example, a vocal melodic line, or melody of any solo instrument in a song. So in the context of composition and arrangement, it's very important to deeply understand the concept of melody and to learn and understand how to write a melody and what is the relationship between melody and harmony, which means between melody and chords. Because obviously, these two things are two subjects that, from a point of view of studying and academics, it's important to learn them separately. But from an artistic point of view, they have to be conjoined because a song is made of the right balance between harmony and melody. Let's also say one more thing. If we're talking about music or composition, where a melodic line is quite defined and it stands out, harmony and melody, which means chords and melody, often are born together in these cases. In, in this case, the process of writing a song uh, where uh, the melody and the chords sound particularly well together, it often happens that you write them at the same time. <laughs> 